You know how I do. Uh, I have something very exciting. Shout out to shout out to Crown Royal. Y'all, y'all ever seen the Crown Royal? The new Crown Royal, twenty three year Regal Apple. Now, this is set to this bottle. This image is so beautiful. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love the image of this of the new Crown Royal. It comes in like a nice box, but the box doesn't do it justice. The box look kind of cartoonish. Dang, I should have got that image for y'all. The box look kind of cartoonish, but it's um this bottle is gorgeous, and I love a nice golden bottle. This comes in at a price point between two hundred dollars and three hundred dollars. It's crazy, man. That price is is not really in my range, but I might have to off a few bottles or something. Maybe get rid of this to get that. <laughs> I paid about a hundred bucks for this, man. And now he gone, and I just don't see the visibility. But I might be trying to get this Crown Royal Apple. Now it's what I did. I did tell y'all it was aged for twenty three years. Price range is about two hundred to uh, three hundred dollars. And the thing I I don't understand about Crown Crown Royal with this right here, this product right here. This is a twenty three year aged whiskey. And why in the heck are you tainting that aged with apple flavoring? Now. Crown Royal makes a dynamic, one of the best apple whiskeys that there is. So the 23 year, how much better can this taste? Because that apple comes in at a price range between 20 and 25 bucks. And it is dynamic. It is awesome. So for a price range for 200 to 300, I think you're going to, uh, the bottle is gorgeous. The presentation is nice. The box is nice and everything. But I think you might tank your brand a little bit of the Crown Royal Apple. Not your brand as in general, but this 23 year, I don't know how much more awesome it can get because you already, you already can taste the uh, the apple in it. It tastes really apple and the and the regular 20 to 25. It's not harsh on you. It's not really that strong. So you it's a smooth drinker, you know. Um I don't I don't know if there's any three, but that's really that all, all that matters. It got a great apple taste and it's a smooth drinker. Plus it's 35% alcohol by volume. I think this one comes in at 35 too. But I have to um see if I can blow this up and see if it comes in at the bigger size. No, this one's coming in at 40% alcohol by volume. So it's a little it's stronger, so that that's a benefit in itself. So Let's um, let's see what it's about. I, hopefully, I can get this and review it. I'm gonna leave some super chats or something, <laughs> something to try to get my money up. Nah, just keep liking my videos, keep going and watching them, and keep subscribing to your boy. And maybe I get these chips up, and we can go ahead and taste this Crown Royal Apple. But I'm very excited about it. Um, I haven't seen it in too many stores, so drop a comment underneath if you see this in um, in different stores. So I can know where to find it. I haven't seen it. I'm in Florida. I'm in Central Florida right now. So please drop a comment or, or something. Say, hey, Jake, I found it here. Take a picture or do something. I don't know. Hit me on IG. But I'm looking for the Crown Apple. And tell me uh, what Crowns have you tried? Because they have a variety of brands. And I heard it's a 29-year. 29, what is it? 29 or 30-year? I think it's a 29-year Crown Royal coming out. So it has a blend of whiskeys that's been aged for 29 years. I'm wondering, I'm wondering how, how much that, no, I think it's a 30 year. A 29 year came out last year. It's a 30 year coming out. Let me get my, my conversation right. It's a 30 year coming out. Uh, the 29 year came out last year and that was gold. It's a 30 year coming out. So be on the lookout for the 30 year Crown Royal. Man, y'all doing y'all thing with these releases of the new bottles and stuff like that. So I'm going to let y'all uh, stick to it. Shout out to uh, Crown Royal. Yes, sir. <laughs> I do like, I do, my favorite crowns going down be like uh, Peach. No, excuse me. Oh, I'm tripping. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to go give you my rundown on the flavors real quick. Ch time out. Let's do this. Y'all drop in the comments your rundown on the flavors. I'm going to give y'all mine real quick. And I almost said the wrong thing. I was just thinking of the names. I am tripping. Peach is not my favorite. All right, let's go. Apple, honey, salted caramel, peach, and then I'll go, 
it ain't a flavor but that I like at all, but maple. The maple is uh is last. I didn't try any of the barbecue Texas mystique and all those all those other ones that sound like sound weird. I didn't I never tried those, but y'all let me know if I should try some of those. But I don't think I don't think they're gonna be good like that. So it is what it is. Now